The Old Man and the Afternoon Cat Every morning the old man woke up just as the sunlight began peeking through his window. He heard the birds singing, he felt the gentle breeze blowing. What a lovely way to start the day. Blech, said the old man as he sat up in bed. He hurried to put on his sunglasses and earmuffs. I hate sunlight and gentle breezes, but most of all, I hate the sound of birds singing. The old man made his favorite breakfast of burnt toast, extra hard-boiled eggs, a big glass of yucca berry juice to wash it all down. Harumph, he said when he finished. Now it's time for my grumbling exercises. He grumbled as he washed the dishes. He grumbled as he brushed his teeth. He grumbled as he put on his itchiest pair of itchy underwear. Now it may seem to you that there was nothing the old man liked, but that is not true. He liked to sing grumpy songs. His favorite was I Hate Birthdays, which he wrote all by himself. Here's how it goes, in case you're in a very grumpy mood and would like to sing along. I hate birthdays, I hate spring, I hate almost everything. I can be nasty, mean, and grumpy. I like to sleep on a bed that's lumpy. I'm all alone and there's no one but me. No one that I think about, no one that I see. No one has to ask me, how was your day? I'm all alone and I like it that way. After singing his song, the old man was ready for his outdoor grumbling exercises. His neighbors were used to his grumbling. They just smiled and said, good day, harumph, the old man answered and grumbled all the way to the park. At the park, the old man sat far away from everyone else to read his newspaper. Then he sat very quietly and waited. Now, if you were sitting and waiting as quietly as the old man, you would hear a soft pat, 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 followed by a gentle crunch of leaves. And if you were sitting very, very quietly, without a sneeze or a cough or a rustle of a paper, you would hear a soft, tiny purring sound. Ah, said the old man, so you are back again. And with that, up jumped an orange and white striped cat. Cats can take a long time to get comfortable sometimes. So the old man waited quietly until the cat had snuggled just right. Then the old man's chin dropped to his chest and he began to snore. And all afternoon they sat together the old man and the cat, taking their afternoon nap. When the cat woke up and stretched, the old man woke up and stretched too. Then they both went wherever it was they had to go until the next afternoon. But one day, something strange happened. The old man waited as quietly as usual. He waited until all the mothers took their babies home. He waited till the man who sells hot dogs and popcorn went home. He waited until the sun went down and the lights of the town winked on in the darkness. Finally, the old man went home. The next day, the same thing happened. I wonder, said the old man, what has happened to my afternoon cat? Then the old man began to worry. He worried so hard that he completely forgot about grumbling. Finally, the old man knew what to do. He drew a picture of the afternoon cat. This is what it looked like. The old man showed his picture to everyone in the neighborhood. That's my morning cat, said the grocer. I give him a fishtail every morning, but I haven't seen him for days. Hmm, said the baker. I can't be sure without my glasses, but I think that's my lunch cat. I give him a saucer of milk every day at noon, but he's been gone for two days. The school children knew him too. That's our after-school cat, they cried. We give him pieces of our leftover lunch. My, my, said his neighbor, Mrs. McCaddy. That's my evening cat. I give him a cup of warm milk every night, but I haven't seen him lately. I hope nothing's wrong. If he's astray, said the policeman, he was probably taken to the cat home. The old man ran there as fast as he could. Sure enough, there was the orange and white striped cat who purred a soft, tiny purr when he saw the old man. The woman in charge gave the cat to the old man. You will need a tag for him, she said. So the old man waited patiently while the woman made the tag. It said, this is not a stray cat. He belongs to the old man, and the old man belongs to him. And with that, 
the old man and the cat went home. Now, every morning, the old man and his cat visit the grocer. She gives the cat a fish tail while she and the old man have a cup of tea. At noon, they visit the baker. The old man and the baker share a strawberry tart while the cat has a saucer of milk. Every day after school, the children share their leftover lunches with the cat and toss a ball with the old man. The old man is so happy that he has almost stopped grumbling and, in the evenings, the old man chats with his neighbor, Mrs. McCaddy, while the cat laps up his cup of warm milk. Completely. Now, he only grumbles if he runs out of his favorite cereal, or he can't find his socks, or if it rains on the day he wanted to go to the zoo. But everyone grumbles about those kinds of things sometimes, because they're grumbly things. Why, the old man even wrote a new song. Here's how it goes, in case you're in a very happy mood and would like to sing along. I like birthdays, I like spring, I like almost everything. I like to smile and laugh and giggle, I like to dance and hop and wiggle. There's so many people and places to see. We are very busy, my cat and me. We talk and visit and chat all day. My afternoon cat and I like it that way.